This video is to introduce our research to develop Compton Imaging Devices at Hanyang University Radiation Engineering Laboratory. Compton Imaging Devices can be used to visualize the location of radiation sources, which is not visible to the naked eyes. Compton Imaging Devices are generally composed of multiple position-sensitive gamma ray detectors. When a gamma ray undergoes a Compton scattering and then is completely absorbed from this position and energy information, we can get a conical surface which contains the source location on its surface. By overlapping these conical surfaces, we can see the location of radiation sources. Compton imaging devices can be used in many different fields, such as to monitor the dose distribution in hydron therapy, to visualize radiation sources in nuclear facility decontamination, or to image the fluid flow in large pipes. Also, the Compton imaging devices can be used for security purpose, such as identification of dirty bomb. Pinhole cameras are generally used for the same purpose. However, pinhole cameras use mechanical collimator and therefore it cannot be used to image high energy gamma rays. On the other hand, Compton imaging filters the effective events by electronic collimation, so it provides high accuracy and high efficiency for high energy gamma rays. Our research team is carrying out a research project to develop Compton imaging devices based on high accuracy detection and imaging techniques. First, this slide shows our Monte Carlo simulation technique. The performance optimization is essential because Compton imaging devices have a close relation with the geometry or characteristics of detectors. By Monte Carlo simulation, we can predict the detailed behavior of radiation in detectors very accurately. This is a simulation program developed in our research team. And this is a demo video for the program. The detector for Compton imaging devices must provide the information of interaction position. Our team is trying to use monolithic scintillator due to its various advantages over the pixelated one, but it requires to develop a position estimating algorithm. We made the lookup table database not from the laborious experiments, but from computational simulations by using our Monte Carlo simulation techniques. Also, we have image reconstruction technique based on back projection and statistical method which reconstruct the real radiation source image using data obtained by an imaging device. Especially for the same system, it was possible to improve image quality with statistical image reconstruction techniques such as MLEM algorithm. Until now, two types of Compton imaging devices have been developed at based on these techniques and we are now trying to develop better forms of imaging devices. This is the double scattering Compton imaging device which was developed by our research team and it has excellent imaging resolution using two of high performance semiconductor detectors as scatterers. Below is the 3D image of radiation sources obtained by this imaging device. Next is dual mode Compton imaging device and it has not only the high imaging resolution strengths of double scattering Compton imaging device, but also high imaging sensitivity strengths of conventional Compton camera. We can quickly check whether radiation source exists or not in the suspicious region with high sensitivity mode of this device and precisely estimate the position of radiation sources with high resolution mode. Next is small Compton camera based on MAPMT in stage of completion. We used homemade charge division circuit, amplifier, signal processing board for signal processing system of imaging device. Also, we made a coincidence based DAQ system based on left view program. This is the image obtained by this imaging device. 
We can get the image within just 5 minutes for the sodium-22 source 20 cm away from the Compton camera. To easily confirm the location of radiation sources, we attached the fisheye digital camera on our Compton imaging device. This shows the registered image with back projection algorithm. And also, we confirmed that the registered image is clearer with statistical image reconstruction algorithm. Currently, we are in the progress of completing MAPMT-based Compton camera project and now developing monolithic scintillator-based Compton camera using Philips digital silicon photomultiplier. Furthermore, we are also trying to develop a large area high-sensitive Compton camera for huge facilities or detection of nuclear materials at a long distance.